Voyager 1, humanity's most distant explorer, launched in 1977 to journey beyond the edge of our solar system. For decades, it has faithfully sent us data from regions no human has ever seen. But recently, something impossible happened. The spacecraft did what no one thought it could. It turned back. And in that turn, it sent back a signal so disturbing that scientists say it confirms what we all feared. Tonight, we reveal what really happened with Voyager 1, why its new trajectory has shaken NASA, and what its final message may mean for the future of humanity. Voyager 1's story begins with hope. Launched on September 5, 1977, just weeks after its twin Voyager 2, the mission was designed to explore the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Its cameras captured breathtaking images. Jupiter's swirling great red spot, Saturn's icy rings, and moons that looked like alien worlds straight out of science fiction. But what made Voyager 1 different wasn't just its planetary tour. It carried a mission far greater, to leave the solar system, enter interstellar space, and become humanity's first emissary to the stars. By 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. This was a milestone unlike any other. For the first time, we had a probe operating outside our solar system, measuring the vast unknown. Its instruments continued to work, detecting plasma waves, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. And then, the first strange anomaly. Voyager 1's instruments began recording energetic particle shifts, patterns scientists could not explain. It was as though the spacecraft had entered a region of turbulence, almost like hitting a cosmic storm. But instead of being pushed away, Voyager seemed to be slowing down. At first, NASA dismissed it as a calibration error. After all, Voyager is more than 14 billion miles away. Signals take over 22 hours just to reach Earth. The glitch was more likely than a sudden change in trajectory. But then, multiple instruments agreed. Voyager was no longer moving as expected. And soon after, a signal came through that chilled scientists to the core. It wasn't just slowing, it was turning back. Data showed a tiny but measurable change in trajectory, as if something invisible had nudged it, pulling it back toward the solar system. No natural explanation made sense. Interstellar space is nearly a vacuum. There is nothing large enough nearby to alter its path. The question was immediate and terrifying. What could turn Voyager 1 around? Some scientists speculated it had crossed into an unseen gravitational field, maybe caused by a rogue planet or even a black hole lurking closer than we thought. Others suggested it might have encountered a force we don't yet understand, something beyond our physics. But the most unsettling possibility was this. Voyager wasn't turned back by nature. It was turned back by intelligence. That was when the transmissions changed. For decades, Voyager sent back clean data streams, but now its signal carried distortions, patterns too ordered to be random, yet too alien to decode. NASA engineers worked tirelessly to interpret the strange waveforms. Some believed it was interference, others whispered the unthinkable. Voyager wasn't just returning scientific data, it was returning a message, a message from whatever lies out there. To understand how shocking this turn was, you need to realize how empty interstellar space is. Out there, gravity weakens, matter thins, and spacecraft drift in silence. By every law of physics we know, Voyager 1 should travel forever in a straight line. But the new data showed otherwise. Its trajectory shifted by nearly three degrees. Tiny on paper, but enormous across billions of miles. 
Imagine throwing a dart across the ocean, only to watch it curve back toward you. That's how impossible this was. NASA tried to keep things quiet at first, but leaks began to emerge from within the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Anonymous engineers reported Voyager's transmissions weren't just unusual, they contained structured anomalies. In other words, the signal looked as if it had been modified. One decoded section revealed repeating pulses spaced at precise intervals. Not random static, not cosmic noise, but something that resembled a signature. Dr. Elaine Cartwright, a theoretical astrophysicist, described it this way. It's as if someone, or something, wanted us to notice. Voyager may have encountered a boundary one we didn't know existed. The boundary she referred to was what some now call the interstellar gate hypothesis, the idea that Voyager had crossed into a region controlled or influenced by another civilization. If true, then Voyager's turn wasn't a malfunction. It was deliberate. This theory gained traction when Voyager's golden record was brought back into discussion. Remember, both Voyager spacecraft carried a phonograph record, a message to the stars, with greetings, music, and sounds of Earth. What if someone answered? And what if their answer was to send Voyager back? More chilling than that, the distortions in the signal began to align with Earth languages. Not exact matches, but patterns that mirrored human syntax. It was as though Voyager was trying to translate something it had picked up. When NASA ran parts of the signal through advanced AI decoding, the results stunned them. Certain waveforms resembled coordinates. Coordinates pointing not outward, but back inward, toward the solar system itself. It was almost like a warning. Go back. You are not welcome here. The more scientists studied it, the clearer it became. Voyager had crossed an invisible frontier and been turned around for crossing it. But here's the most unsettling part. The data didn't just suggest a turn back. It suggested a pursuit. Something was influencing Voyager's path, as if escorting it back, almost like returning a trespasser. That raised a terrifying question. If Voyager was noticed, did that mean we were noticed too? And if so, what would come next? As Voyager 1 continued to transmit, the picture grew clearer. Its instruments began detecting plasma oscillations that shouldn't exist in interstellar space. The density levels suggested something massive nearby, but invisible. One theory is that Voyager stumbled upon a cloaked megastructure, perhaps an alien-built object designed to shield itself from detection. Others believe Voyager entered an artificial boundary, like a cosmic fence, built to keep civilizations separated. But whether natural or artificial, one fact became unavoidable. Voyager confirmed our worst fear, that we are not alone. For decades, humanity has wondered if life exists beyond Earth, We've searched for radio signals, scanned exoplanets, and pointed telescopes deep into the void. But never before had we received direct evidence of interference. Voyager's turn back is that evidence. NASA now faces an impossible dilemma. Do they share everything with the public or keep it hidden until they understand more? Some within the agency fear mass panic. After all, if Voyager was turned back, it means our cosmic neighbors may not want us exploring further. Others argue this is humanity's greatest discovery, and hiding it would be a crime against history. Dr. Cartwright put it bluntly, 
Voyager confirms that interstellar space is not empty. Something is out there, and it does not 